what's in my camera bag? That's what we're going to be talking about today. All right, so today I'm transitioning all my stuff from my old backpack to a new one that I'm testing out. Now, um, if you want to see more about this new backpack that I'm testing, go check out my video because I'm actually doing these in a little bit of a weird sequence. So I wanted to share my adventure video first, even though right now I haven't gone on that adventure yet. <laughs> so check out my um, Horsetail Falls, Fire Falls in Yosemite video here, and you can see a little bit more about this backpack. But basically, I'm going to be testing out this ProMaster backpack. Um, my friends down at Horn Photo are allowing me to test this out, and I figured it would be the perfect time to chat with you about what's in my camera bag because I've got to put it all in this bad boy. So, in a recap, this is the ProMaster backpack. It is a back loader, and it's it's pretty awesome and I'm super excited to try it out. So again, my friends down at Horn Photo are letting me see this. If you guys need a backpack, make sure to go to your like local camera shop. I would suggest doing that because then you can get your hands on it, see it, feel it, and see if it's actually what you want rather than buying something online and not being able to touch and feel and make sure everything is going to work perfectly. So. Anyways, go check out that other video that I'm going to post before this one. <laughs> uh, it is my Horsetail Falls, Fire Falls Adventure in Yosemite. And you guys can see this bad boy in action. So, let's get going. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff in my camera bag. A lot. Now, let's start with lenses. So with my lenses, <clears throat> lenses and cameras, because that's really the like super important stuff. So I have my um, 16 to 35 millimeter f4 lens. It's my Sony and um, that's my wide angle for my cameras. Now with that, I also have my baddest 18 millimeter. Now this one is pretty much taking over this one and I don't ever use this one ever anymore. Um, I use it as a backup lens, um, but if I want a wide angle shot, this is the lens I go to. So my bad is 18 millimeter. Um, now I have my Sigma art 50 millimeter lens with, um, my Sigma MC 11 adapter. So basically this was a Canon fit lens and I needed to be able to use it for my Sony stuff. So I had to get the adapter. I use this lens strictly for portraits. That's it. I don't use it for anything else, but it is amazing. It is, it is gorgeous. The bokeh in the background that this bad boy creates is amazing. So this is an F14, um, 50 millimeter Sigma art. Now, this is my G Master 100 to 400 millimeter lens, my Sony. So I love this lens for, you know, you want to get a close up shot. So wildlife or like the horsetail falls and fire falls in Yosemite, you can get up close and personal with that because typically you're, I think that that um, cliff is like 2000 feet high. So how are you going to be able to shoot it? you want to have a nice telephoto lens. So anyways, that's this one. Now, um, my go-to lens, seriously, if there was a lens, just one lens that I could only have, it would be this lens, 24 to 70 millimeter G Master lens. Um, and I can't say enough about this lens. It's an F2.8 and I just love it. So this would be my go-to. If I only had one, it would be this one. So then let's get into cameras since I'm holding it. This is my Sony a7R 3 and my primary camera that I shoot with. Now I bought this one um, after getting this one. I wanted uh, two cameras and the reason for that being is for my wedding photography side of the house. So I wanted to be able to have a second shooter um, or a backup camera just in case. So worst case scenario, something catastrophic happens to this camera. 
I have a backup. So you're in the middle of a wedding and if you only have one camera, eh, what if it dies? What if it's at the end of its life and then you're stuck in the middle of a wedding and you don't have a camera? So that's why I wanted to have two different cameras. This one is the Sony a7R II and um, it was my first full frame camera. So anyways, that's the purpose for me having two. I know a lot of people ask me like, why would you buy two cameras? It was strictly for my portrait wedding side of my photography business as the second shooter can use it and my uh-oh, <laughs> my uh-oh camera. Um, so anyways, that's those. <laughs> Now let's get on to, all to the little stuff. Okay, so my wallet, yes, I keep my wallet in my camera bag. Chapstick is always a must because my lips get chapped. Foots for my tripod, feet, feet, <laughs> foots, feet, whatever, for my tripods, depending on what gear I'm taking that day. Um, this is really for my Peak Design Clip, which uh, is perfect for backpacking. And then these little guys will take them on and off. So it'll take your tripod on and off. Just bam. So you have to have that to be able to put it on and off. Now, um, my business cards, I always have business cards in there as like, you never know. You never know who you're going to see. So one time I was in Yosemite and I was taking photos and I had someone come up to me and ask me if I was a wedding photographer, if I did weddings. And I was like, heck yeah, let me get you a business card. Always have your business cards on hand because you never know what's going to happen. So then I have um, my SD card holder with all my SD cards. Um, my flask, you never know. Maybe you're out there sitting super cold and you need to have a drink. Be prepared. <laughs> and I'm just keeping it real with you guys. So um, now these guys. So filters. I have my UV filter that is on my 24 um, to 70 millimeter lens. I have this guy, which is my ND filter, which I love. And then I have this guy, which is my polarizer filter. It's a Heliopan polarizer. ProMaster um, ND filter, 10 stop. And then a filter ring. So these things are amazing and are going to save you a lot of money. <laughs> so not all lenses are the same. And then that way, if you want, you can buy one filter, the bigger size, and then it goes on this side and then it'll fit on a smaller lens. That way you don't have to buy two filters. So anyways, think about that before you guys buy a filter. Think about the size of your lenses and then if you can actually get a little guy to be able to switch them back and forth rather than having to buy two or, you know, buy a filter for every single lens. It's going to save you a lot of money. Um, camera strap. I have a ton of different camera straps. It just depends on um, where I'm going and what I'm doing, but I always keep this camera strap on my um, A7R 3 So this camera strap is the ProMaster, or not the ProMaster, the um, Peak Design, the Peak Design wrist strap. So I love that one. It's just that extra security. Um, so let's go over batteries. I have five batteries for my A7R 2 and I have two batteries for my A7R 3 so my batteries go fairly quickly in the a7r2 that's why i have so many and then um the a7r3 not so much it's a lot bigger capacity of a battery and it works really well so that's why i only have one now um i also keep two different phone batteries. so my phone a necessity for my phone is to be able to switch out the batteries um, I talked to you guys about that in my backpacking camera gear setup. Um, so if you want to see that, go check out that video over here. Um, but that's all about my backpacking camera gear. So what I take when I go backpacking. And then um, this is a battery pack. So it's an anchor battery pack just in case my camera batteries die. Cleaning kits. You need to have cleaning stuff. Um, 
because does that need an explanation? Like, you have to have cleaning stuff. Bring your cleaning stuff with you wherever you go. <laughs> Extra lens caps. So these guys is, um, gosh, what's the reason for these? If you want, if you want this to be forever and a day long, um, I lost my lens cap while out backpacking. I tripped, I stumbled, I clipped a little rock, it snapped open, and just at the right moment to jump into a river and float down the river. <laughs> so after that, actually, if you wanna see that video, check it out here and see what I did to fix it for the remainder of the trip. But um, that, so after that, I bought extra lens caps and I bring them wherever I go so I have the different sizes. Um, but I think that that's really important. These are super cheap and then that way you can always make sure to keep your lens safe. So again, these are ProMaster lens caps. Um, hand warmers are amazing and they make me so happy because this girl gets cold, like really, really cold. And um, I just think it's really important to actually bring yourself something to make you warm so that way you're not miserable when you're out in like 16 degree weather you're actually sitting there nice and cozy and these these are awesome so make sure if you get cold bring something like this because it's going to really help just make your adventure a lot better rather than it just being miserable and you're out there and you're not like, why do i do this to myself so the next thing is a headlamp. So this is the zebra light headlamp. And um, basically you just need to bring a headlamp wherever you go. Um, because typically you're gonna be taking a sunset photo, you're gonna be far from your car, and then you're gonna be walking back in the dark. So make sure you just bring a headlamp and then you can have light. So headlamps are cheap. You can go to Walmart and buy them for like $10. Um, this one was more expensive because it is my backpacking headlamp, um, but it makes daylight. So it's awesome. I love that. I love that one. Tripods. So this is the slick tripod. Um, this is the one I use for backpacking. Right now, um, my camera is set up on my actual tripod that you guys see in every um, every video that I do that isn't a backpacking video. So anyways, a tripod. I have a couple of them, um, but they're definitely, definitely a big part of my entire setup. Flash. So this is, again, for portraits and my wedding side of the business, but um, I wanted to share with you everything that I've got going on. So this is the ProMaster for the Sony, and I love this little guy. It's not super heavy. It gets heavy after a while, like if you have to use your flash all the time. I'm a natural light photographer, so I try to use this as little as possible, but during weddings, the receptions are going to go into the evening. You're going to have to use a flash, so get yourself a good flash. Um, and this little thing packs up really nice. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I just love that. So that's for um, portraits and weddings. Phone, laptop. So I bring my laptop quite a bit with me. Um, and in this cool guy is actually a laptop holder so it'll fit a nice big laptop i don't bring it everywhere but when you know when i go out on a road trip i do bring it it does fit into my camera bag so i wanted to share that with you um just so you see that you can put your laptop in a camera bag if you have the right bag um and then phone of course so my phone has all sorts of everything that i need on it basically my phone has like everything ev all of it <laughs> so it's got all my apps um, for photography and then obviously it's my phone. Um, so the last thing I wanted to talk about was clicker and this. So a clicker I just got, it's a remote for um, video. So right now I can start and stop my video with this. And then also is what I'm shooting on. So I, I'm currently shooting on my 6500 camera, my Sony 6500, and that's why I kept this out because obviously I can't show it to you guys, but I wanted you to know that it's there. I also have my lens on it. It is um, a 16 to 50 
millimeter lens f 3.5 to 5.6 so that lens is a pancake lens it's like this big and it's awesome so I got that set up specifically for these YouTube videos and to be able to um, create better quality videos for you and then obviously the lens cap but I mean that shows you how small that um, that lens actually is <laughs> so that's it that's all the things that's everything in my camera bag this was a very long video and I didn't mean for it to be so dang long but that's everything that I have so far right now um, all the stuff I switch in and out depending on where I'm going so if I'm going to you know a car trip day trip to get a sunset shot I'll switch things out compared to if I'm going backpacking compared to if I'm going on a road trip so it really or compared to if I'm going to a wedding or a portrait um, shoot so it depends on what I take I don't ever ever take everything unless um, no, I never take everything. Even when I go on my road trips, I don't take my flash. I don't take um, quite a few different things. I don't take every tripod I have. So um, you just got to switch them in and out. So don't always carry all your camera gear. Just know what you're going to shoot and then switch it in and out for what you actually need. And then that way your camera bag isn't so heavy and hurting your shoulders. So um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully it's helpful. The link in the description below will take you to my camera gear page so you guys can actually see everything that I talked about today. And then you can click on all the little links and it'll take you to wherever you need to go if you wanna see more about them. Um, and then I also have a camera gear um, list in the description below. It's not my full list, but it's my main things. Um, yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me. I'll see you in my next video.